My name is Joe, and I'm an alcoholic, and I'm an addict, and there's like a bunch of other adjectives I could throw in, and ain't none of that good Marvel shit like fucking spectacular, incredible, uncanny, sensational, all right, maybe incredible, but let's not push it. Today, it's it's 10.34 p.m., Monday, September 20th. I'm, I'm already behind the gun. This should have been recorded an hour ago. But my fucking Mac wants to do updates to whatever operating system it's doing. Holy shit, was today a Monday and a half. I renamed it. From now on, and everyone can use this, royalty free. I'm not copywriting it or no shit like that. And I know it looks like I got food on the shirt. It ain't. I don't even eat today. Today was this complete fast, except for a fuck ton of coffee and some lemonade, homemade lemonade. That's, that's from bleach. Some drops of bleach hit me back in the shirt. And now it looks like food stains. Perfectly bad. I'm going to have to put a Sharpie to this fucking thing. Get high. Get classy with it. So you know that old classic Clint Eastwood spaghetti western? Like the mother of all spaghetti westerns or any westerns for that matter. The good, the bad, the ugly. From now on, from henceforth on high, I do solemnly declare shitty ass fucking Mondays shall be furthermore known as the good, the bad, and the Monday. So that's what today was. The good, the bad, and the Monday. I was up every two hours last night. I don't know what the hell. And I took my melatonin. I don't know what the hell was going on. It was one of those nights where you just can't, your head just can't find a decent position on the pillow. And at one point you switch pillows. And then you still can't find a decent position on the pillow. And then eventually you got to get up. And you're like, well, fuck this shit. Let me just get up. I'll deal with the pain. Let me go in the living room and pray. You know? And that's what I did. I'm adding a new segment to the show. I'm evolving. The show's evolving. And the segment's called Look at This Shit. So go ahead. Look at this shit. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, September 19th. I did not sleep well last night. I was up like every two hours. It's going to be an interesting day at work. I think it's also one of those days where three Advil are going to be needed and tons of coffee. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I should drink the coffee, brew it and drink it, or just put a big old pinch between my cheek and gum <laughs> like chewing tobacco. But yeah, it was one of those nights where your your head just can't find the right position on the pillow and you switch pillows and you just toss and turn. But yeah, like I was up every two hours and I took my melatonin. It wasn't that. Look at my Oliver Queen beard. <laughs> I hope I, but let's seize the fucking day. Let's get out there and get it done regardless. That's what we do. And now back to our show. And that's me. That's me right out of bed. Didn't even know what, what I didn't even know the number of the day. Horrible. M merc the, pillows, the pillows were merciless on me. But you know what? It was a good day at work. Work was brutal. Work was brutal. I, I you know... Oh, man. But I got through it because I know if I can get to 3 o'clock, right, that's my lunch hour. Then I come back and I got just three hours left. So that's what I did. Just get me to 3 o'clock. It's 3.20 p.m. Monday, September 20th. I have finally made it to lunch. And I have retreated into my bedroom <laughs> like Batman hiding in the Batcave to do some prayers. Because after this, I'll have a little less than three hours left in today's workday. And between the kind of calls I'm handling, shitty system issues that people are experiencing so they're fucking aggravated about, and that lack of sleep, 
which thank you coffee that's helped it's just been a monstrous day I may bullshit Better with or without. Gorgeous either fucking way. <clears throat> through through hell and high water and prayer and and pleading and begging and literally. First break in the living room, just praying. Praying and crying like a big ass baby. But it's all right if you're going to pray and cry, if you're crying and praying to God. There's nothing wrong with that. And he answered the prayer. He's given me grace. He's given me strength. He's given me courage. Now, something special may be happening this week. I have mentioned that email that I'm too terrified to read that's now been sitting there since, well, I've seen the date it was sent. September 1st. I thought it was sent a day or two earlier. I was mistaken. I've even seen the subject of it. And even while reading these things, it was like Superman approaching a lump of kryptonite. The closer I got, the, the more I could feel myself unraveling and relying on that grace from God. And I thought I would read it after work, but after work was just... A little exhausting. But this week, I'm planning on a special episode where the mystery will be revealed. Now, look, don't get worried. I'm Italian from New York. We don't name names. I could beat around the bush until there's no more bush to beat around and you won't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's one of my special mutant abilities like the X-Men. I'm uncanny. I have that uncanny ability. I could beat around the bush until there ain't no more bush to beat around and you'll never know who the fuck I'm talking about. So if there's someone out there that's scared of some shit, don't fucking worry about it. It's going to be fine. This is my life. This is my vlog. This is how I'm dealing with my sobriety. I come on here like a fucking, like a low rent Cosmo Kramer with the Merv Griffin set set up in his living room, putting on a show for, for just myself. And I found there's a few people that like it. And whoever you are that keeps giving the thumbs down, I love you. I laugh my ass off every time I see that you stopped by and gave me the thumbs down. I did eventually realize I said the wrong date when I started the episode. And then I did the thing with the calendar. So you know what? I want you to check this shit out. Okay, correction. It's Monday, September 20th. Yeah, that, that goes to show you what kind of a night's sleep I had. But I'm going to need, here's what I'm going to need today. I'm going to need holy water. I know it. Holy water, Advil, and plenty of coffee. About to start to say my morning prayers. But first, oh, let's make it official. Yeah, there it is. And so we begin 113 days later. Week away from 120. I think that's some kind of, you know, kind of one of those days they celebrate. I don't know. I don't follow that anymore. All right, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. And now... Our show. How about that shit? All right, we're back. I got a new feature. Let's do something fucking awesome. This shit come in the mail today. I've been waiting all week for this. Let's do an unboxing video. It's not a box. So it's un envelope opening video. Let's see what's in this fucker. A fucking box in a box. I'm getting engaged. Johnny, you shouldn't have. Hoover, was that you, Ed? Ed, come on. This is how you ask me? In an envelope? A padded envelope? You son of a bitch. 
All right, let's see what this is. Without cutting my fucking hands off. Son of a bitch. I do it, too. All right. This fucker better... Oh, no. I hope it fits. This I got from... Let's hold that up. Black Mountain Slides. It's a guitar slide that you could wear on your finger... But you could see, instead of the whole slide, which is like, you know, the old bottle slides cover the whole fucking finger like that, this one you should be able to play. Holy shit, it actually fits. I got the extra large, and it actually fits. But I would use it on this finger, so it would make... Look at that. Son of a bitch. And see, well, it ain't going to go all down, because that shit ain't going to happen with my... Oh, there you go. But it actually fits. So we know what I'm going to be doing Saturday night, learning how to play fucking slide with this thing. Actually... You know what? See, I'm already thinking. I'm thinking Italian things. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Let me put the ring on. Hold on. Hey, come here, Jimmy. <clears throat> Fucking. All right. Those are bad things. I don't do that. I don't hit people. I dream about hitting people. I fantasize about hitting some fucking people. But I don't do that. All right. Check this shit out. on the call before I start lunch this has been a Monday from hell no other way to describe it just pure fucking Monday from hell and I can't wait for this work day to end <sighs> hope everyone else is having a better work day today it happens to me very rarely everyone today I'm, you know, like, hey, thank you for contacting. My name is Joseph. And blah, 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 blah. Well, I hope you, and you know, there's this, you got to start a case. And whoever fucking designed the system to start the case, there's literally like 565 drop downs you got to choose. And I gotten fed up with that shit. So now I want to do it. Says, I, I'll need, let me, let me start a case so I can better assist you. And then the, the Italian comes out. This is just going to take a minute. Because the person who designed this put 565 drop-downs in there. It's almost as if you think they never had to take a phone call and be efficient. That usually gets the person on the end, of, on the end laughing. Eventually, someone's going to hear that and be listening to one of my calls and going to want to put a shoe up my ass. That's fine. So I had my, my last customer today laughing her ass off. She was great. Is she going to do a survey for me? No surveys to report because it's Monday. None came in yesterday. I might tell you. Saturday, maybe one will pop in on a Sunday. That's all from the all the dinner I served last week. All the rave reviews from the dinner I served last week. Today, there's going to be nothing. But tomorrow, there's going to be more. Look at this shit. What I got here. Let's unbox this fucking thing. I don't even know what I was talking about. All right. This has been sitting in my room boxed for like forever and a day. Here, let's see what I can do without killing myself. This I know what I know what's in here though. I won this on Twitch. I was in one of those little mosh pits. And it came down to me and the guy who's the host of the show, Grant Tuesdale. Truesdale. And he beat me. And I'm I'm sitting on my end of the screen laughing my ass off, thinking, you know, if this is a real mosh pit, Grant, you're fucking dead. You know? Let's see what we got. Chicken, oh, a recipe for chicken parmesan. How are you going to insult an Italian? Like, I don't know how to make chicken cutlet parmesan. Are you out of your fucking mind? My mother just rolled in her grave. Sha shak shaka. What the fuck is shak shaka? That's got to be some kind of fucking Klingon shit that got worms in it. Bravado Spice Company. Oh, if I could fit that on my guitar... That sticker, you know where it's going. What else you got? Oh, the magnet. Hold on. Bravado Spice Company. Magnet. Hold on. Right there, right above the head like a halo. There you go, Hulk. Okay, see it? All right. Then we got some padding. And here's, here's what it is. Here's what I want. And it was hard picking this shit out. The fuck is that? Oh, my, my arm hit the keyboard. No, not now. Don't ask again. Oh, they wrapped this good. Like a fucking, looks like a fucking sex toy. Son of a bitch. There we go. Come on. Yeah. You know, there's a whole Reddit 
There's a Reddit subgroup. Literally, it's it's the funniest fucking thing. It's literally called "Don't put your dick in that." Go look that shit up if you need a good laugh. Mother, come on. All right, Razor. All right, if I had Wolverine's claws, I'd pop that shit every two seconds. People would be sorry. All right, that, that's how we could have done it the whole time. You want to know what's in here? Come back in one fucking second. Oh, it's about to be 12 noon. Time for my first break. Oh, I've made it through the first two hours of work without dropping dead. Only six more hours to go. <laughs> I can't. I can't. And we're back. All right. Let's let's take from where we left off. This is what I want. Oh shit! I almost broke it. Ooh, Serrano, Ser Serrano and Basil, Bravado Spice Company hot sauce. And I don't really like hot sauce, so I had to look for something that ain't. See, it's it's medium. I'm gonna use that this weekend. I better make something nice this weekend. All right, that's what's in that box. But this is what we do. Not every day is going to be fucking butterflies and rainbows. That's why we say that prayer in the morning. That's what I'm trying to say. You're sober. You're not doing the drugs. You're not doing the alcohol. You're not doing whatever the fuck you were doing. At first, it's you're glowing. Yeah, but then you're going to have those days where you're trying to get out of bed. <sighs> the good, the bad, and the Monday. Right? Well, think of the blues. They call it Stormy Monday. I love that fucking song. And it's true. And you know how the next line goes? They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday's just as bad. It's true. I told you about Tuesday last week if the days of the week had personality. Hey, I am Tuesday. Hi. Oh, yeah, you're Tuesday? All right. I could hang out with Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. We're in, we're in a fucking click. We're the hot bitches in school, right? The hot, the, the little fucking... The hot, <laughs> fucking hot men on campus running shit. Meet Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. I know there's more clips to play, so get a load of this shit. It's Monday, 9.30 p.m. Haven't recorded tonight's episode yet, but I'm getting my shakes ready. Today I had a complete fast. I just have water, coffee, too much coffee, but the coffee got me through work. Had some lemonade, I'll have some more water. For the rest of the week, this is what I have. I'll have two of these every day, and basically that's my, I have keto chow, salted caramel, and a new flavor I've never tried before, keto chow pumpkin spice caramel. I hope it's delicious. So basically each shake, gets four ounces of heavy whipping cream, which I measure out on that. Then the packet goes in, the powder goes in, water to about there, shake that shit up. I freeze mine. I like to have mine frozen. So this is my routine. Got to do all these now. My Mac is downloading updates for Whatever operating system it's on now, Big Sur, whatever the fuck it calls itself. So I'm going to get these ready. And then I am going to record 113 Days Later, a sobriety vlog. All right, let's get to it. And we're back. I'm going to open the last box. This thing's been sitting in my room. I don't know how long. I got more boxes. I'm going to do this more. And I'm going to do... Get a load of this shit. Um, there's probably something else, too. So you know what? Get a load of this shit. Oh, all shaken up, right? I gave him all the fucking James Bond. Shaken, not stirred. Two for Tuesday, two for Wednesday, two for Thursday. And then I'll have to make two more for Friday. But I only have six containers right now. So that's how I roll. All right, everybody. 
Now back to our show. Unbelievable, right? But look, last box. Let's, and this is going to be good. This one's coming into play next Saturday night. Because remember, I told you, Saturday night's for the blues, baby. <clears throat> Live unboxing video. All right. All right. For, fucking camera. It's fucking, and the microphone's trying again. All right. Packing shit. Oh, pack and slip. Look at this. This is good. Here we go. Get out of here. Joe Bonamassa Blu-rays. Tour de Force, London. Tour de Force, London. But this is at the Hammersmith Apollo. This one was at the Royal Abbott Hall. These are all places Johnny probably played already. London, Shepherd's Bush Empire. We're in London, the borderline. And finally... Oh, Black Country Communion Live. But they're over Europe. London's in Europe. All that shit. I got another stack of Bonamassa DVDs. You know what the key is? Like once or twice a year, they do 50% off. So I, Because I ain't paying 20 bucks for this shit. I mean, I love it. But I can't pay 20 bucks for it. I can't afford it. But when that shit's $9.99, and then you get the free shipping... That's the good, the bad, the beautiful. I'm in there. I'm in there like Flint, whoever the fuck he was, right? That's all I want to say about today. But everything with love, everything, <laughs> I, you know, even I laugh at my own bullshit. All right, everybody. As that little crippled boy in old London town, was wont to say, God bless, and I'm not talking about you, Johnny. God bless us all, everyone. Get a load of this shit. <laughs>